Alright, today I'm going to show you how to make a good paper hornet. So first, you need some scissors and you need to count seven spaces of index cards. So, when you're doing that, you cut it out with your scissors, of course. Well, scissors are really optional compared to what you want. So, they're optional. And then you're going to take this. You're going to have one line in the middle. And you're going to fold it over into triangles. Like you're making a paper airplane, but you're leaving one space in between. I know probably you guys are like, what the hell is this kid doing? But here, it should look like that. Let me get it better for you. Yeah, there. Like that. And then, you're going to take the tip of it and fold it down to the bottom of the triangles. You want to try and get it in a good fold so it doesn't screw it up. And then you're going to fold it down to the bottom. So it's like this when you're done. If you're in a rush, just fold it. Like, just roll it. But if you're really trying to make a good one, fold it. <clears throat> Sorry. My friend was being a retard. And then if you have extras staple it if you don't just staple the part where it ends like I have extra so I'm gonna take my stapler and staple that extra to the thing try and staple on the edges so you can bend your tip to a point <clears throat> oh god well, whatever so and then you're gonna have it like this basically. And if you want it to hurt, you can like put staples on this part on the tip. So if you're really trying to hurt people. And there's your hornet. It should sound something like this when you're done. And here I'm gonna bring it over and show you a test. That's my cat, sorry. Juno, go. Alright. I'm going to be shooting right there, so. Move Juno. My upgraded rubber band. And, just listen. And there you go.